That just scared the ever living crap out of me. Ho! Oh. Coming up in the next 90 seconds, we recap Sarah's paranormal investigation. Ooh. What just scared Sarah and all the spooky entities that you encountered on Saturday night at the Mordecai Manor. It was fun, wasn't it, Victoria? It was a lot of fun, yes. Sarah and Victoria's paranormal investigation update coming up in the next 60 seconds. Girl time, so ghost spooky. time. Absolutely, <laughs> the best kind. <laughs> Okay, Victoria, we have just pulled into the parking lot. I know, it's so exciting. <laughs> uh, you got here a second ago, but I got here. The house is pitch black. I am super nervous. Ooh, and did you also notice the little big thing that's out today? The full moon? Yes. Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh. God. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, we'll check back in in a minute. Yeah, that's real life right there. Yep. We, we went on a ghost hunt, Victoria and I, to the Mordecai House downtown of Raleigh with the Ghost Guild. Nelson Noss was the president of the Ghost Guild. He invited us, and we got to walk around the Mordecai Historic Park with all the little houses for two hours in the dark. We're about to play some more of your audio in a second, but what was your first paranormal investigation like, Sarah? It was fun, first and foremost. It was really fun. It was uh, definitely like spine tingling at times you know because it's you know standing in the dark in these old structures is scary it's eerie yeah so you go in there brian and i have never been a part of one of these before probably for the better absolutely y'all would have been i would have been laughing the entire time yeah sarah what were some of the things you were doing once you got into the house uh well we walked around um we had to ask questions to the spirits Mm. we see you tinkering with the lights can you make this chandelier swing and the, the chandelier swing, Sarah. Sadly, no, but I would have been so excited oh, if it had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Nelson, like, come on, ghost. I have friends here. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Don't make me look stupid. Yeah. yeah. I told him you were here. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, so that we were walking around the house and, like, we went to, like, uh, the little tiny houses that are on the park. There's, right. like, a chapel uh-huh. and this tiny house where, like, It used to be a kitchen on the bottom level, and then the house part was the top level. Yeah, very small. But the big house was the scariest one. The one we go up, when you walked upstairs, that was probably the scariest part of the night. We're heading upstairs. All the lights are off. Okay, we're going to pick a room. I get to choose. Oh, what is There's a creepy lit up balloon in there. What is, it's just one of those um, blow up balloons with uh, LED light in them. And you want to ask them to move it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so that's something that's relatively easy to move. Cool. So since this is actually where I mentioned that there the was. The kid was, that ran? Exactly. So that would be something that hopefully he'd want to play with. Oh, that dress. You could have told me there was a dress in there. Jeez, that just scared the ever living crap out of me. <laughs> Oh. In the dark yes. room, like they, you walk in these rooms. I mean, they're pit, they're dark. They're super dark. And in the one room is a mannequin, a headless mannequin, <laughs> in like Victorian dress, just in the middle of the room. Look, looked like a headless Ew, person was standing in the middle right. of the room. It was yes. very creepy. real quick. Though, did the kid move the actual ball? No, we were looking. We were watching. We didn't get any physical no. evidence that night. No, the air conditioning moved the ball. Kyle. Most likely. Last but not least. All right, Victoria, how you feeling? Man, I don't know how to feel. That was crazy. It was crazy, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. So how did we do, Nelson? How did you think the night went? I mean, I know you, know you haven't overlooked any of your evidence or any or the uh, data looking for evidence. Please let me rephrase that. You were a champ. You both were. Yeah. Actually, I was really impressed with how quickly you caught the whole concept of tagging everything. So, And you asked really appropriate and good questions. So, yeah. Glad you all could join. Thank you. She can't make it through five minutes of an It movie, but she can go two hours into the Mordecai Manor house. She is Sarah King. That's right. And And Victoria. That's right. And just a note that if you're interested in seeing any of this kind of stuff, the Mordecai Paranormal Reveal is happening at the Mordecai Festival uh, at the end of the month. You can go online for that. And the Ghost Guild, they have a website and all that jazz. And it's, it is really, really fun. And I highly recommend anyone who's into that kind of stuff to, yeah. to look into it. It's good times. Guys, Sarah or Brian, we're working with ghost hunters in Yeah, studio. you are. Spooky. 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 <laughs>